Right, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to fit LED headlamps to your Fiat Ducato, uh, Citroen Relay or Peugeot Boxer based motorhome. Uh, the footage in this video I recorded back in April and I must admit I was a little bit hesitant to actually show this video and the reason is that the LED headlamps I'm fitting here are not strictly legal to use in this country and that's because they don't have the required e-approval markings on them which makes them legal in this country that said if they're correctly aligned and they can pass the MOT test I'm sure you'll be fine no one's going to be checking your headlamp bulbs for some e-markings I decided to change these bulbs after I saw a video from John and Mandy on tour. That video is up here, so thank you to John who showed us how to fit these, these bulbs. Um, with the winter approaching, I think it's a perfect time now to show you this video and uh, you'll get a much brighter light from the, the headlamps, which I'm afraid to say are, are a little bit sort of on the yellow side and they're not brilliant on these motorhomes, so anything that can make our lives a little bit safer has got to be a good idea. So the only tools you're going to need for this are a screwdriver fitted with one of these star-headed Torx fittings, and that's a Torx T30, and that's for getting the bulbs that hold the headlamp, uh, getting those bulbs out. So shall we see how I got on? Right, so this thing here disconnects by pushing it forward, that clip pushes forward, and then the connector disconnects, so that's the multi-plug there, that's the multi-plug there, okay, just leave that there, and then the headlamp simply on. Does just undo these bolts. Keep them somewhere safe. And this other one up here. It's a bit longer that one. remember to close the bonnet on it. Now the headlamp slides out. You come around so the headlamp should slide out just by pushing it off there so the whole unit comes away. So it's got like little feet there, another foot there and they sit in you can see the wash, the wash tank there, the uh, windscreen washer fluid. Yeah, so we can go and take this to a safe place and change the bulbs. All right, you're going. Okay, so we've got main beam here, the dipped, dipped headlight there. So that one is for the main beam, and that's the dipped light. So what we do. Make sure you've got it on a towel, nice soft surface. Turn it over, and these rubber bungs come away. And there's a plug here. Just pull. Well, it actually comes out with the bulb as well, so there you go. You're supposed to be able to w wiggle those to get them out. I must have wiggled it already. Out it comes. So. Double, double check you which headlamp you're looking at. Yeah, the one on the narrow side is the main beam. So that's this one here. So as a replacement plug, it can only go in one way, so you just have to find the which way in it goes. I think it's that way. And it sort of clips in place. Okay, now it can't move. And then you connect it back up 
so the connector can't can it can go either way so it doesn't doesn't really matter make sure that's that's in hide that out of the way that's the first one done shouldn't come out and you can put the cap back on and same with this one there's a clip there so you sort of push that back to do it and show it <laughs> keep the wire out of the way that one probably best to put these somewhere safe because we have a need to replace them back and then this one is the dipped beam so the same thing little notch there line the notch up try not to get your, feet, your gloves caught in it and then it should and then you can't pull it out and then if you can plug that in if you can hear me above the lawnmower and the wind just tuck that away like that and put the cap back That's it, that's job done. Just gonna put the headlamp back now. So fitting it is get it in there and it should just sort of push back like that. That's it. And put the screw back in here. Find where it fits. That's it. That one. Probably need my screw back for this. to get going there and do this one up and fit your multi-plug again and that back so that should be the reverse of what we did before So make sure that's all the way out, and that should then fit on there, and you just push it and push that back, that's it. Alright, it's going to test it. Yeah, that's yeah it is, you, you can't really see it in this light, but it is on. It's a whiter light than the other one, if you look at the other one, it's sort of yellow. Yeah, you can see it's on it. Just so you'd have to sort of look in there. Oh, if you look in the light, it really is bright. Oh, is it? All right. Yeah. Okay. Quite difficult to see in broad daylight, but uh, yeah, that's both lit. So you can see, it's quite a lot whiter than those, which are quite yellow. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Uh, let me know. Have you fitted any updated headlights, bulbs? in your motorhome have you found a big improvement i'm waiting to see what improvement i get hopefully it should be good i know from just sort of the times i have used the headlamps you, they are much much brighter so um hopefully that will be a big improvement if you haven't already and you found this video useful please subscribe hit the notifications icon and you'll get updates when i release another video thanks a lot yeah you just have a look. I guess. Should be the
can't see anything on the screen. That looks so dark. I suppose it's the screen that looks dark. Just hold it about there. That should be right. Shouldn't it? Right. So this thing here disconnects by pushing it forward. That clip pushes. Forward.